Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I will walk you through how to use floorplanner.com, which is one of the most beginner friendly tools to design 2D and 3D rooms layouts right from your web browser. So make sure that you watch this video till the very end so that you don't miss any of the important steps. If you don't have a floor planner account yet, you can just use my affiliate link in the description. I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you and you might also get some rewards or discounts depending on your plan. So without further delay, let's get straight into it. So first of all, you need to open your web browser in your PC or laptop. Over here in the search bar, you need to search for floorplanner.com. Now, once you are here on this page, in the top right hand corner of the screen, you will see the login option and the free account option. Now, before clicking on any of these, I would recommend you to click on the pricing option. Over here, you will see that their basic plan is absolutely free. And here in this plan, you are going to get 10 minute cooldown. Their popular plan is plus plan. And this is going to be costing you $5 per month, which is quite cheap in my opinion the third plan that they have is the pro plan which is going to cost you 29 dollars per month so if you continuously want to use this particular software you can go for the pro plan now here click on the free account option in the top right hand corner over here you can sign up with the help of your google account with the help of your apple account and you can also sign up with email so if you click on the sign up option here you need to provide your email address create a strong password for your account and then agree to these two terms and conditions and click on the option of create a basic account then a verification link will be sent on your email address just like so so you need to click on that and verify your email address once done, you will be landed on this page where it is going to show you that your account is created successfully. And now you need to provide the name of yours here. You can also provide the name of your project here. After providing it, you can select any of these details and click on the option of create my first project. After doing so, it is going to be taking some time and show you these three options further. First, we have the room wizard. The second option is the upload 2D floor plan. The third option is the empty plan. So over here, first of all, if I click on the room wizard option, it is going to show you the room layout here in the right hand section. In the left hand section, you will see three different steps of this particular room wizard option. Here you will see a bunch of different types of room layouts and shapes so you can just click on any of these and it is going to change in the right hand section let's say i want to use this shape and this particular layout so if you want to rotate it as per your need you can also click on the rotate option over here you will see the mirror horizontally option so you can mirror this particular layout horizontally you can also mirror this out with the help of vertically so once you are done with your editings and deciding your shape, simply click on the next option over here. Now you will be shown the option of changing the room's dimensions. So the total area is written over here. The total height dimension A, B, C, D, E and F. So you can make changes into it based on your architectural skill. Then click on the next option here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now, the best part of this particular tool is that it is also going to show you the room styles. So here, if you click on this drop down menu, you will see a bunch of different rooms like living room, dining room, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, home office, hallway, balcony, outdoor and more. So you can just click on any of these. Let's say if I select the dining room option, it is going to show you the dining room over here. If I click on the bedroom option, it is going to show you the style for bedrooms. And as you can see, they have a lot of styles available here. Similarly, if I select the home office option, you can basically start with the empty room, but you will see a bunch of different room styles over here. So you can just click on any of these and then select any of the room styles. For example, if I want to select this one, so I'm going to be just clicking over here. Then you can simply click on this start option and you can just start taking a look at that particular room style. 
and here in the right hand section as you can see since i have selected this black and gold living room in the right hand section it is showing me how is it is gonna be looking if i add these things in my living room so it is looking quite good here if i click on the start option in the bottom right hand corner of the screen you will see bunch of different editing options for this particular layout that you have selected so here the project is the project name or the project you are in currently then we have the build option where you will see the current layout of your uh, particular room here you can just draw a room you can draw a wall draw a surface place any door and place any window and place any structurals so in a living room you can build a lot of things so i would recommend you to check these out based on your architectural skill here as you can see if you already have a floor plan if you have designed that with any other software you can also upload it over here and it is going to integrate that particular uh, layout here and show you further options you can just click on this plus and minus option in order to increase or decrease the size of your living room or your project here we have further option here in the top right hand corner like this is the black and white layout of your living rooms design this is the colorful layout and this is more uh, add this adds more color over here you can see we have 2d options we have 3d options so if you select the 2d option these were the further options relating to the 2d option but if you select 3d here you will see the camera view so it is looking very good right over here next we have the camera type so you can select the first person view so the first person view will look something like this where you will see that you are uh, yourself in the room and as you can see over here it is looking really really good next we have the field of view so you can basically increase or decrease the view and you can just take a look at it how is it going to look when you create it in the real life you can also update the camera if you click on the update camera option you can just update it and you can also use this circle over here in order to take the view of the day and the light here as you can see this is the night view this is the day view so i really like this particular 3d option here next we have the light and scene so the background scene uh, as you can see over here the background scene is this one but if you want to change it you can just simply click over here then select whether you want sunrise midday afternoon sunset so basically you can change these background scenes and see how the view is gonna look if you just create this room and you are in it next we have the clouds option in this background if you want to make changes into it like if you want to add light clouds more clouds you can definitely do it so here you will see a bunch of different 2d and 3d options i really like their 3d options to be honest so here you can also export this image once you are done click on the export image option in the top right hand corner then click on the export image here and this particular image will be exported in your uh, pc or in your laptop now the free version is going to be adding the watermark but you can also you know crop it out or if you have the paid plan you don't need to just worry about the watermark so if this video helped you out make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions you can just do let me know that in the comment section below thanks for watching this video and i will see you in the next one